Hey, what's up, guys? Puritan Guy here, bringing you uh, a PO post commentary versus Hero Team Scraft Me. So, this is an interesting match. Um, I had just random guy stuff reasons using uh, a new sort of rain team uh, I sort of came up with. Um, using actually Choice Bandit Crawdon, uh, which really actually demolishes everything with uh, adaptability rain boosted uh, Choice Bandit. Uh, crab hammers, and I like not even Skarmory can take that stuff. It's good stuff, really. So uh, let's get into this. So I'm gonna lead off with Crawdon. He's gonna lead off with Rotom. I have a disadvantage first turn, so I have to switch out of here and go to my Jolteon, hoping he Volt Switch. But he goes for the Hydro Pump, predicting that nicely. So I need to switch out here, go to my Toxicro, uh, as he switches out and goes into his Landers, predicting that. And I stay in here predicting him to over predict. But unfortunately for me, he doesn't do that, and I lose my Toxic Rope really early on. But now I go into Bronzong, he goes for U-Turn, and I decide that now would be a good time to get my rocks up, as he goes into his Heat Ram. So, I'm thinking his playing style is a lot of over-predicting, so I th I'm thinking he might over-predict here, go for the Earth Power, predicting a switch, and I go straight for the Gyro Ball, uh, in order to uh, take out his Balloon. And I predict him to over-predict again, because he might not think I have a reason to stay in here. But I do carry the Earthquake, which will be able to take him right out. So, that's great. Um, finally got one thing out of the way, and he goes uh, into this Rotom, and I don't really want to stay in here fearing a Hydro Pump, so I go to my Politoed, thinking, uh, thinking he would think that I would switch into a more advantageous switch, but I decided not to, because I knew I could take a Volt Switch either way. Uh, kind of a weird play, I guess I made, but uh, just my weird logic anyway. So. Uh, he goes for Hydro Pump over predicting again, and here he goes for Volt Switch, which doesn't take me out, which is good. Uh, but unfortunately for me, uh, I'm going to miss the Hypnosis again on this Tyranitar, which means that he'll be able to Pursuit Trap me and uh, win the Weather War. So I'm at a pretty large disadvantage at this point, because without Weather, um, a lot of my team won't be supported with some moves they have. But now I'm going to go into my Verizion. He's going to be fearing a fighting move and go into his Metagross as I set up a Calm Mind since I'm a specially based Verizion. Um, and I get another little bit of hacks uh, against me on this turn. Um, because I missed the Focus Blast, which probably would have O-Code uh, after Stealth Rock damage on this Metagross. But um, what's bad about that is, since he's a Jillagross, he's going to be able to get a Nice Punch off, pretty much kill me. I'll be able to get off the Focus Blast, though, and take him out. But the Sandstorm damage will take me out, too, so it's a dumb double down. And I decide not to go into my lead, but instead go into Jolteon, predicting him to go into Rotom. And that's good for me, because I'm thinking Choice Specs Thunder might kill. And he actually goes into his Tyranitar, but uh, because Choice Specs, because Thunder, it essentially does do over half. And I get Paralysis, which didn't really matter. But um, he's going to let his Tyranitar die, because he's already won the Weather War, and there's not much point in keeping it. And um, he's going to go out into his Fortress. Not sure why. Uh, I guess maybe it's possible Death Flutter. But unfortunately for me, I missed the Thunder. He gets up a Rapid Spin, and because of that, the Sandstorm's actually going to be able to kill me, which really kind of sucks. But, you know, um, now I'm in disadvantage because his rocks aren't up. So he's going to be able to switch all he wants. But uh, he goes into Rotom. I go for Crab Hammer. Uh, get a crit. Definitely mattered, even though I have adaptability because uh, Rain isn't up. And he goes into Landorus. I don't want to stay in here uh, and take a U-turn. So I go to my Bronzong. Um as he turns out into his fortress uh, and I can't do anything in here so I switch back into my Cronon but he double switches into his landers predicting it and I'm like oh no this guy is playing me but I know he can't do anything to my bronze on his lander so he is just gonna U-turn out again and it'd be really good for me to be in my bronze on that situation but it's just kind of a stall war between fortress and bronze on because they can't really do anything to each other and here I over predict to switch back into Landorus, but he doesn't, he said it's a Toxic Spike, so now I'm at another disadvantage. But, now I'm going to switch into my Cron, I'm predicting him to stay in. Um, because he didn't decide to switch there, that means I have one last chance of being able to do to hit KO this Fortress with my Cron on. And, um, so I go for the Crab Hammer, he does do over half to the Fortress, which is very good. He goes for a Gyro Ball to try to do some damage, but luckily for me I'm not that fast, so it doesn't really matter anyway. And he doesn't want his landers to take the Kravener, because obviously it will Oko. And he just lets his uh, Fortress die, so yeah. Now he goes into his Landorus, and I know he can't do anything to my Bronzong, and I do carry HP Ice. It's pretty much game. 
And yeah, that was a great game, Team Scrap Me. Um, if you happen to find this video and do have a channel, feel free to like leave a link or something that I can link you to if you do happen to have a channel, because it sounds like you might. But yeah, uh, that was the game, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.